Have you ever wondered how much World War II shaped the world we live in today? Imagine a world on the brink, a world in chaos, where nations grappled with power, ideologies clashed, and humanity was tested to its very core. This was our world during the pivotal years of World War II, a period that left an indelible mark on our global landscape. The war began in Europe, a continent already scarred by the Great War two decades prior. It was in the late 30s when Germany, under the iron fist of Adolf Hitler, began its unrelenting march across Europe. The ripples of this aggression didn't remain confined to Europe. They spread, reaching the far corners of Africa, Asia and the Pacific, changing the face of these regions forever. In Africa, the war ignited battles in the sand-swept landscapes of the Sahara and the lush jungles of the Congo. It was a forgotten front, where alliances shifted like desert sands and colonial powers fought for control. Across the globe in the east, Asia was not immune to the war's destructive reach. The rising sun of Japan ascended with a ferocity that sent tremors across the Pacific. The waters of this vast ocean, once a symbol of peace and tranquility, became a battleground, echoing with the roars of warplanes and the thunderous blasts of naval artillery. World War II was not a regional conflict, it was a global cataclysm that forever reshaped our world. From the rolling plains of Europe to the arid deserts of Africa, from the bustling cities of Asia to the tranquil islands of the Pacific, the war left its indelible footprints. And these footprints, etched in the sands of time, are still visible today. They serve as stark reminders of a past filled with turmoil and transformation, of humanity's capacity for both destruction and resilience. Now take a journey with me as we explore the places that were affected by this monumental event. Europe, the epicenter of the conflict, was the first to feel the war's devastating effects. The war began like a spark igniting a powder keg when Germany, under Hitler's rule, invaded Poland in September of 1939. This act of aggression marked the beginning of a conflict that would engulf the entire continent. The war spread like wildfire sweeping across Europe. Nations fell like dominoes to the advancing German forces. France, known for its romantic boulevards and the iconic Eiffel Tower, found itself under German occupation in a matter of weeks. Belgium, with its rich history and cultural heritage, and the Netherlands, with its intricate system of canals and windmills, were not spared either. Their peaceful landscapes were abruptly transformed into battlefields, their tranquility shattered by the echoes of gunfire and the rumble of tanks. Yet it wasn't only the mainland that was affected. Across the English Channel the United Kingdom found itself in the crosshairs of the Axis powers. The nation stood resilient however, enduring the relentless blitz, a sustained bombing campaign by the Germans. The people of Britain huddled in shelters night after night as their cities were reduced to rubble. Yet their spirit remained unbroken. They emerged from the ashes steadfast and resolved embodying the famous words of their Prime Minister Winston Churchill, we shall never surrender. Further east, the Soviet Union, a colossal force in its own right, was drawn into the fray. The Eastern Front, as it came to be known, was the theater of some of the most brutal and intense battles of the war. The harsh winters and vast landscapes of the Soviet Union became graveyards for invading armies, proving once again that the country was a formidable adversary. The war left a lasting mark on Europe, forever changing its landscape. The scars of battle still remain, etched into the fabric of these nations, a solemn reminder of a time when the world was at war. From the ruins, however, emerged a united Europe, a phoenix rising from the ashes, testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. While Europe is often the focus of World War II discussions, Africa and the Middle East played crucial roles too. As we delve into the annals of World War II, we find the forgotten fronts of Africa and the Middle East, Let's journey to North Africa first, where the sands of Egypt and Libya bore witness to some of the most significant battles of the war. The North African campaign, a tug of war between the Allies and the Axis powers, was a pivotal chapter in the conflict. This campaign was not just a clash of titanic military forces, it was a struggle for control of the Suez Canal, a vital trade route and lifeline for the British Empire. Now imagine the Battle of El Alamein, fought in the scorching deserts of Egypt. It was here, amidst the endless dunes that the Allies halted the westward advance of the Axis powers. This victory was a turning point. It not only bolstered Allied morale, but also marked the beginning of the end for the Axis powers in Africa. Next, let's venture into Libya's vast deserts where the siege of Tobruk unfolded. 
This prolonged standoff was a testament to resilience and strategic brilliance. The Allied forces, outnumbered and undersupplied, successfully defended the port against a relentless Axis onslaught, demonstrating that victory could be snatched from the jaws of defeat. The Middle East, too, was a crucial cog in the war machine. Its vast oil reserves were a much-coveted prize, fueling the engines of war. Moreover, its strategic location made it a key chess piece in the global conflict. Control over the Middle East meant control over vital sea routes and a gateway to the Russian front. So, as we step back from the intricate tapestry of World War II, we see that Africa and the Middle East were not mere bystanders. They were active participants, their landscapes serving as stages for pivotal battles, their resources fueling the war effort, their strategic locations influencing the course of the conflict. These regions, often overlooked, were deeply affected by the war, with their effects still felt today. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Asia and the Pacific were embroiled in their own brutal conflict. Indeed, the War of the Pacific was a theater of World War II that saw intense conflict, particularly between Japan and the United States. But long before the U.S. entered the fray, Japan had already begun its campaign of expansion, starting with the invasion of China in the late 30s. This marked the beginning of the Second Sino-Japanese War, a brutal conflict that resulted in millions of casualties and left a lasting impact on China. Japan's ambitions didn't stop at China though, it cast its eyes southward, towards the rich resources of Southeast Asia. Countries like the Philippines, Indonesia and Malaysia were next on Japan's list. The invasion and subsequent occupation of these regions became a significant part of the Pacific conflict. The Philippines then a U.S. territory became a significant battleground. The Battle of Leyte Gulf for instance is remembered as one of the largest naval battles in history. The Philippines' liberation however came at a heavy price. The capital city of Manila was left in ruins, and an estimated 1 million Filipino lives were lost during the occupation. Indonesia, then the Dutch East Indies was also heavily impacted. The Japanese occupation disrupted traditional social structures and ignited nationalist sentiments. These sentiments played a crucial role in Indonesia's struggle for independence after the war. The war's profound impact on these countries was not solely destructive. In many ways, it also laid the groundwork for their future. It triggered changes in political structures, ignited nationalist movements and reshaped social landscapes. In the ashes of the war, new nations emerged, ready to chart their own path. The war reshaped Asia and the Pacific, setting the stage for their modern history. World War II was a truly global conflict affecting even the most remote corners of the world. Let's take a moment to consider Latin America, a region relatively distant from the primary theaters of battle. Yet the war had a profound impact on the economies of these countries. Many Latin American nations saw increased economic activity as they supplied materials and goods to the warring nations. Countries like Brazil, for instance, experienced a significant economic boom fueled by the export of commodities such as rubber and agricultural produce. This economic shift played a crucial role in accelerating urbanization and industrialization, setting the stage for the region's future development. Switching gears, let's turn our attention to the icy, desolate expanse of Antarctica. Yes, even this remote, inhospitable continent felt the ripple effects of the war. Though it was far from the front lines, Antarctica was involved in a minor way through Operation Tabarin. This British initiative aimed to deter enemy action, establish a permanent British presence in the Antarctic, and assert British territorial rights. Here, the war was played out in the form of scientific exploration and geopolitical maneuvering, a stark contrast to the bloody battles and devastation witnessed elsewhere. It's important to remember that the war's impact wasn't confined to the places where battles were fought. Its influence was global, altering economies, shifting political alliances, and reshaping societies. In Latin America, the war sparked economic growth and societal changes, while in Antarctica, it led to a renewed focus on territorial claims and scientific exploration. As we've seen, World War II left its mark on a diverse array of places, forever changing the world as we know it. From the bustling cities of Europe to the icy wilderness of Antarctica, from the deserts of Africa to the tropical jungles of the Pacific, and yes, even the vibrant landscapes of Latin America, the legacy of this global conflict continues to resonate. It's a stark reminder of how interconnected our world truly is, and how events in one corner can send shockwaves felt across the globe.